today. Google's apparently building their own processors. AMD finally did it. RTX 4070 GPU gets pictured. NVIDIA GPUs get a massive price drop. And AMD's monster gaming CPU is already on sale. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, it looks like Google has actually developed their own data center chips. That's right, the story comes from a new report by The Information, and later reported by Tom's Hardware. And according to it, Google has reached a milestone in designing their own server processors. This apparently means that the company can roll out their servers powered by the new chips by 2025. According to the report, Google's R&D team are working on two ARM-based 5 nanometer chips, one codenamed Cypress from their team in Israel, and the the other, codenamed Maple, that's on trial production at TSMC. Both are being overseen by the 25-year Intel veteran Yuri Frank, who apparently sees the Cypress chip as the Plan A and Maple as Plan B. The company is apparently doing this to lower the cost of their data centers so they can keep up with Amazon. And of course, this isn't long after Apple kicked Intel to the curb when they announced their own chips made for their Mac computers. Not to mention Google's own smartphone chip. Basically, both AMD and Intel had better start up their game or more and more companies could begin making their own chips. But first, if you're ready to build or upgrade your PC, now's the perfect time because it's Build Your Own Month at Micro Center, which means there's tons of deals on PC parts, including some amazing combo deals like this deal where you get a Ryzen 9 7900X and 32 gigabytes of DDR5 6000 for just $417.99. You can't beat that. And this is why Micro Center is my favorite one-stop shop for PC parts. And sure, they did sponsor this video, but they really are incredible. They're essentially the only place you can go in person to get all of your PC parts for a build so you can actually see them before you buy. And don't worry because they have everything you could need for your PC, from motherboards to memory, CPUs, and even custom water cooling parts. So they have it all. To top it all off, when you visit my link in the description, new customers can get $25 off a new CPU. And that coupon works with the combo deals. So what are you waiting for? Visit Micro Center today before their great deals are gone. Next up for today, AMD's finally released a new driver for their RX 6000 and older GPUs. Now, you may be wondering why I think a driver update is news, and that's because it's the first new driver update for the RX 6000 series cards in over two months, all while AMD's RX 7000 GPUs were actually getting drivers. Ultimately, I think AMD was just trying to get their newest cards up to where they wanted them to be. But the weird part is that they even released game-specific driver updates for the 7000 cards that were never released for the 6000 series, so it's not like they were just fixing bugs that only the 7000 series had. I'm not sure if AMD needs a bigger driver team or what, but the update is here now, and it comes with a lot of new performance that we saw out of the 7000 cards, with performance updates to games like Spider-Man Remastered and Hogwarts Legacy. If you have one of AMD's older cards, make sure you get these new updates. Next up, NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 4070 GPU has been pictured. The new image comes from Megasize GPU, and as you can see right here, it's a quality sample 8104 GPU. And while it doesn't give us too much information, it's proof that Nvidia is gearing up for a 4070 release, or at least that they're ready for one very soon. According to video cards, the GPU is entering mass production sometime this month, but apparently won't be released until sometime in April. According to Copite 7 Kimmy, there are actually three different SKUs, but they're mostly the same. At the end of the day, it's clear that NVIDIA is gearing up to release their mid to low end GPUs. And next up, after months since the crypto market crashed, we're finally seeing some big price drops. Specifically, NVIDIA's Founders Edition RTX 3000 cards just got a massive price cut on Best Buy. Of course, I'm pretty sure that's still the only place you can buy NVIDIA's Founders Edition cards anyway. So this isn't just some random deal from one retailer or really even one particular board partner. And the actual price drops are big. For example, the 3080 is a whopping $280 off, so down to $419.99. 
The 3080 Ti is $180 off, the 3090 Ti is $220 off, and at one point the 3070 was just $299. Bucks. Yeah, that's the 3070, not the 3060. Now, unfortunately, most of these deals have since sold out, but it could be a sign that Best Buy is clearing inventory to bring in the next-gen cards. And given we've been hearing quite a bit about their lower-end models like the 4060 and 4070, that's not a surprise. What's great about this is that you'll likely see other retailers and board partners begin to do the same fairly soon. Of course, given the pricing that we're hearing about for these new models, I'd be more excited for the 30 series discounts than I would the newer 40 series cards. With that said, time will tell how good they end up being. But at least for now, it looks like great deals are here. And lastly for today, AMD's upcoming ultra-fast gaming CPU is already on sale. More specifically, their Ryzen 9 7950X 3D was made available for pre-order on a French retail site. Remember that AMD's 7950X 3D is set to be their 16-core 32-thread CPU with 3D vCache, and should be one of, if not the fastest gaming CPU on the market when it's released. When it comes to the pre-order, they have since taken it down, but it was priced at 800 euros. Now, that's obviously quite a bit higher than the official price of $700, but remember that there are things like value-added taxes that countries like the US don't have, and AMD hasn't announced the MSRP for Europe. When the original 7000 series were released, the 7950X was selling for 850 euros, though at the time the exchange rate for the euro was pretty low, so this sounds about right. When it comes to availability, this retailer is claiming that you won't see your part until March 16th, which is quite a bit later than the official February 28th release. Maybe there won't be a ton of stock at launch? I'm not really sure. But either way, with CPUs being on sale already, it's clear that AMD's ultra-fast gaming chips are right around the corner. So while that does it for today, if I sound pretty bad, it's because unfortunately I have been sick the last few days, but are you excited for Andy's upcoming 7000 x 3D chips? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the awesome deals from Micro Center down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.